Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation square root of 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus square root of 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we suppose that let a is equal to this expression square root of 3x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 and b is equal to square root of this expression 3x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 and we substitute a and b in this equation so this original equation will become a minus b is equal to x let's call this equation equation number 1 now if we square both sides of this equation this implies that uh, a squared is equal to 3x squared plus uh, 4 times x plus 1 and if we square both sides of this equation this implies that uh, b squared is equal to 3x squared minus 4 times x plus uh, 1 now from this equation we subtract this equation so this will become a squared minus b squared is equal to first expression is 3 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 minus the right hand side of second equation 3 times x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 further simplify this will become a squared minus b squared equal to remove brackets 3 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 negative times 3x squared negative 3x squared negative times negative 4x plus 4 times x negative times plus 1 negative 1 Now this uh, a squared minus b squared can be factorized as uh, a minus b times uh, a plus uh, b equal to from the right hand side uh, this uh, 3x squared will be cancelled out with this uh, 3x squared this uh, 1 will be cancelled out with this negative 1 and we are left with uh, 4 times x plus uh, 4 times x uh, 8 times uh, x and in this equation we replace this uh, a minus b a minus b is equal to x since a minus b is equal to x so this will become x times a plus b is equal to 8 times x and from here we divide both sides by x so this x will be considered with this x we are left with a plus b is equal to 8 let's call this equation let's call this equation equation number 2 and we recall equation number 1 equation 1 is a minus b is equal to x equation 1 is uh, a minus b is equal to x this is equation number 1 and we add these two equations we add these two equations so this uh, positive b will be considered with this negative b and a plus a will become 2 times a equal to this will become x plus uh, 8 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a is equal to square root of 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 we have supposed that a is equal to square root of 3x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 so we replace this a with this value this equation will become 2 
times square root of 3 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to x plus 8 and from here we square both sides so this left hand side will become square of 2 is 4 times this square root will be considered with the square root and this expression will come here 3 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared this x plus 8 whole squared will become x squared plus 16 times x plus 64 distribute this for this will become 12 x squared and 4 times 4 x will become plus 16 x 4 times 1 plus 4 equal to x squared plus 16 times x plus 64 now we move this 4 to the right hand side and these two terms to the left hand side this will become 12 x squared this positive x squared will become negative x squared plus this 16 x this 16 x will become negative 16 x is equal to 64 and this plus 4 will become negative 4 at right hand side this negative 16 x will be considered with this positive 16 x and 12 x squared minus x squared will become 11 x squared is equal to 64 minus 4 60 divide both sides by 11 this implies that x squared is equal to 60 over 11 Now we take a square root of both sides. So this square will be considered with the square root and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus square root of 60 over 11. Next x is equal to plus or minus this will become root 60 divided by root 11 and to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 11 and this will become x is equal to plus or minus square root of 60 times 11 divided by root 11 times root 11 will become 11 next x is equal to plus or minus 60 times 11 will become root 660 divided by 11 from here we get two values of x x1 is equal to root 660 divided by 11 and x2 is equal to negative root 660 divided by 11 so we have two solutions for this equation